Hey there, Scipio here, and today I decided to go ahead and take care of this battery tray problem with the E550 uh, Raptor. So as you're aware, the battery tray is such that a full-size 5000 milliamp battery just doesn't fit past these frame tabs. And there's these two tabs, it's kind of hard to see in this picture, that are uh, basically side supports for the side carbon fiber frame, and you can see the three-point screws that kind of hold that side mount on. And I decided I'm going to use a little ruler here uh, to supplement. I'm going to remove one of those tabs and use a ruler uh, to re-strengthen. It's uh, aluminum, it's thin, it's fairly rigid, so I'm going to give it a try. So uh, the first thing I want to do is remove these uh, screws holding the side frame panel on here. And this is just a carbon fiber segment that comes off. You can see here also that there is a, a good sign of thread lock. Once you have that pulled off, uh, set that out of the way for now, and you can see the tab that I'm talking about trying to remove. So I tried to decide if I wanted to remove both tabs or just the one, but I think in this case, removing just the one tab gives me enough clearance, and uh, you know, there's no need to remove them both if I don't have to. You can see here how the battery gets stuck moving forward because of those little tabs. Now I know people that have removed the tabs on both sides and just reinstalled the battery tray and I'm sure it might work fine but I have to assume those tabs are there for a reason. So when I remove it I intend to reinforce that area to give it some more rigidity again. So as you can see here I'm just using a Dremel cutoff wheel to remove the tab. Uh, starting carefully and I'm actually going a little bit higher uh, than I normally would and working my way down and then I'm just gonna uh, end up finishing it with sandpaper to sand it down to the flat surface of the battery tray. I didn't want to accidentally take off too much, so I, you know, left myself some room and sanded off the rest. All right, so here's how it looks now, uh, nice and smooth and flat. And as you can see, the battery um, doesn't quite fit in there um, on the ones the long side. But I flip it up with the label side up, you'll see uh, it fits in there with a couple of millimeters to spare. So I could obviously get more clearance by removing the other tab. But again, if I only need to remove one, I may as well just remove the one. Uh, but, uh, you know, could be just I'm lazy. So now I'm going to cut that ruler to use to reinforce that um, frame side. Remember a lot of people will cut that tab off and just leave it off but I just figured I would take the safe route and reinforce it. So I laid it on and I'm using a center punch and I'm going to punch the three holes for alignment and then uh, also scratch off the sides of the frame against the ruler so I have some cut lines. Here's how it looks before I start cutting. And again, it's the Dremel cutoff wheel to the rescue. And I'm basically just going to use this to cut out the outline uh, that I scribed off with the center punch. And just make a little brace for that. Ouch, it's a little hot, so uh, pliers that are in order. And here's how it fits now that it's cut. I'm using sandpaper to sand down all the rough edges. I used a 3 millimeter drill bit, which is the exact size of the holes in the frame side. And I used a uh, little Dremel press to drill the three holes in the aluminum. They line up nice and uh, straight, and that's important. And you can see here the aluminum is the same thickness as the carbon fiber. Now I originally started out with a plan to affix the uh, little uh, aluminum plate to the frame with this screw and uh, actually it, it looked really nice. Um, I cut off the uh, the excess of the screw and it made a really nice tight package. The problem is with that screw head inside now uh, I still had problems with battery fitment so it basically took the place of the tab which didn't help me at all. So you see me here assembling the the frame back and eventually you're gonna see that screw uh, disappear and there will just be a hole. I think it's gonna be fine those two bottom screws on that aluminum plate really do seem to hold it. And uh, with the completed assembly you can now see how the battery easily slides in. And here's what it looks like on the inside. One side is nice and smooth uh, with no tab 
and the battery fits up right against the frame side. I think that aluminum plate is going to prevent any flex on that side of the frame. And of course you can look uh, when I press the battery all the way in, the other side does have a few millimeters of gap there where the other tab sits. So, you know, eventually I may actually remove that other tab, but for now, like I said, I don't need to. And remember, it only fits one side for this particular battery. Uh, it's a 48 millimeter by 50 millimeter battery. So 48 millimeters fits, 50 doesn't. And uh, just adding some Velcro here uh, to, the, to the base, and that'll finish things up. And that's pretty much it. That's the mod. So basically my entire goal was to be able to get my big old fat batteries in the battery compartment where I wanted them, which uh, as far as I can tell from the CG, it's going to want to be up far forward. And this allowed me to do that. So that's it. Um, hope you uh, got something out of it if you're looking for a way to solve this problem. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.